let me update you guys just on life real quick just come come on in y'all come on in let me update y'all hey y'all i look a mess i know don't judge me judge your mama okay but i did just get a delivery amazon and i'm pretty sure this is the um I'm going to finally organize my seasonings. Not today, not right now, but I got delivered, so I wanted to come and show you guys me unboxing this stuff. And then in this video, I will also update the seasonings to organize that and show you guys in this video. But uh, yeah, so this is all from Amazon. Um, the first thing are the, where are they? This is the, Oh, this is the drawer insert, not the actual um, containers. So it comes like this. So these are these are not the actual containers. This is like the insert that goes into the drawer. It's like this, and there are several of them in here, so they would kind of like stack on each other. It'll make more sense what's in the drawer. So that's the first thing they got here, and then. another box and this box should be the the actual I can't talk to them so tired y'all the actual um, containers and the labels and this is all very affordable on um, Amazon of course if you want to you can create your own labels I didn't want to do that so here are the labels let me change this lighting for you guys It's kind of glossy in this paper, but I think yeah, it's growing up. So there are the very simple, minimal labels, which is what I wanted. And these are gold writing. So those will go on the actual containers. Now here's a, another box inside the big box. And this should be the containers. So yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but it just wasn't the priority. Um, I do have my seasonings already kind of laid flat in the drawer because it's just super helpful um, to kind of look in your drawer and see the names of the seasonings versus having them stacked up vertically and then having to kind of search. The um, containers that I got also came with labels, but I didn't like those labels, so I'm not gonna use them. They're not bad. They're kind of white labels. They're on a gold sheet, but they're actually. Focus. You see like a circle and with the white and it's clear. So they're still cute, but I didn't love them. So I ordered separate labels. But if you order this, it'll come with labels. And then I'm just gonna take a few out. Here are the actual jars. So I'll, of course y'all know I love my gold. It's kind of the accent in my kitchen. Um, so gold top and then screw it off and it looks like this so you have the option to sprinkle or to pour there are some cute ones with like the wooden tops that are really cute but um, some of those don't have like the pour method so I really wanted that you're about to hit the door open my son is just coming home from school and then it has a marker because the labels that it came with you can write on them I'm not using those and then it has a little funnel to put your seasonings and pour them to here neatly. So yeah, I'm gonna do this later. I'm not gonna do this right now, but of course when I do it, I will let you guys come along. So I just wanna share that with you because I just got here. Hi guys. How was school today? Good. Good, all right. All right, so here are the ones I got. I got a pack of 36. You can also get a pack of 24 or 12. So, you know, count your seasons, see how many you want. Come in different amounts. All right, y'all, so the plan was to come up here looking much better and it was not my hair looking cute, but it is windy, cold, rainy, sleet here and there, back to rain, back to sun today. So, hey, this is this is what we're gonna get. Um, I'm about to change the seasonings out. I already showed you guys yesterday the three things that I ordered from Amazon, so I'm about to do that now. So, I'm excited, of course. This is not necessary, it's extra, but it's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys what my season looks like 
right now. So this is what it looks like right now. I have it facing this way just because it's much more helpful to kind of see everything that you have versus having everything kind of standing up like this and you're not being sure. Um, so I'm just doing a similar version to this, but elevating it to make it look aesthetically pleasing. The aesthetically pleasing part is not necessary, but it does lay them all flat. Um, one thing I will say for seasonings like this that don't have like clear um, parts of the bottle, these type of jars are helpful to know when you're running out or getting low on seasoning. So I will say that, but honestly, it's, you don't have to do that. Do whatever seasoning works for you, but it is inexpensive to do. You can also make your own labels. I am not, I'm just, I just ordered some labels. These are like $11, I think. Let's get started. We do have some extra bottles. We have the extra labels here. Either stuff, you know, stuff we just didn't have right now. We'll save these to the side for when we get some more. Um, another thing, this came with it, but we really didn't use it. So we, you know, we used it one time. It didn't really make it faster. So we just kind of unscrewed everything. But yeah, let me know what y'all think. I love it. Absolutely love it. You guys, you guys, you guys, I am just in such great spirits right now because the busyness that has been going on around here is finally starting to settle down. So I went to Target last week and so I want to update you guys on some things, some decor items that I purchased from Target um, and then I want to kind of just give you all an idea of kind of like what's been happening. So first, let me go ahead and give you a look around to the items that I got from Target and walk you through those. Actually, first, I forgot about this. This is not from Target. This is from Etsy. And so they're just some faux stems. Um, you all may recall in this vase, I had the fall stems that I got from Michael's. I believe I got them from, yeah. Um, so I still have those on reserve. I'll probably bring them back out when I'm ready to switch, you know, and for fall again, but I thought these are perfect for spring. I think they're probably good all year round, honestly. So I really like this find. It's, I think, four stems in there and still have the same vase because I love how it gives some weight to this section over here. Um, but yeah, these are from Etsy. So this is the only thing that's not from Target. All right, next up, now we're going to the Target stuff. Let me move this chair out the way, chat. Um, I got this candle here. So you all have already seen these vases. These vases are actually from Target too, but I already had those. Um, these are from Home Goods. They were on my coffee table. Now I have to get some more for my coffee table because um, I moved these over here. <laughs> and this candle is what I recently picked up from Target. I really love that it has like the ribbed detail. I'm really feeling that look. Um, and then it has the wood accent piece and the little gold handle there. So I thought that was really cute to add here. So that's from Target. Next thing is in the hallway and in my office and the bathroom. All right, let me turn some light on, child. Okay, so 
over here we're at the entryway i also got these faux stems from target now it doesn't look that full because they only had two left so this is literally only two stems i need probably two more to give it the look i want to give it to right now i look real goofy <laughs> it looks real goofy at the moment but i still need to they only had two more in stock so I'll have to go back and see if they restocked or um, go to another Target, see if I can find two more. But that's the look here. It's gonna look really pretty when it's full in the middle. Okay, this is another update. This room, has, this is the formal living room, has not really made many changes, but I moved Lily in, my uh, piece Lily in here. And this stand right here, I got from the Target dollar, five dollar spot. It was five dollars, I believe. It was either three or five, I believe it was five. But they had this this color with the white at the bottom. They also had one with black at the bottom. So I thought it was like a cute little way to elevate Lillian from the ground. Um, she's been doing really well, you guys. All right, next up from Target, I got you all. I keep saying you all may recall. If this is your first time here, sorry. That's why I keep trying to like give you a a reminder of your previous because I'm assuming that some people are coming back thank you all so much and continue to watch the videos and some people are new so I don't want to just like assume everyone knows what it looked like previously so previously I had a plant trio faux plant because I'm not trying to water stuff up there <laughs> um so I had a plant trio of this they weren't the same type of faux plant but they had the same base and it was a trio from Amazon I didn't really look like the look as much of the other two. So as you can see, they're not there anymore. And so I got the two on the outside from Target when I went. I like the look more of these faux plants. Um, I really like that they're not too matchy matchy and it adds kind of like some visual interest there as well. And you all, y'all see my petty sign. <laughs> I just got a frame and then I made my own sign. But yeah, this is what the bathroom shelving is looking like and of course still have the same mirror we updated this mirror and this light um you all can check that out in a few videos back but this was not here when we first got here it was a whole different mirror and light okay and the final thing that i got from target recently is this faux plant here this is probably one of my favorite faux plants you guys that love it love it love it so i placed this here um still kind of playing around with what i want to be on this shelf um, you all know I, I recently put together this shelf here. My office is coming along slowly but surely. I did finally find a wallpaper that I like. So I'm going to put wallpaper only on the center and only on the top portion. So waiting for that to come. I found that from Z Gallery. Waiting for that to be delivered. And then we're going to paint in here. So I can't wait to paint. I cannot stand the color on my walls. I still need to get window treatments. You know it's coming along little by little and of course i'll take you guys along but for today the update is this faux plan okay now that we got those updates out of the way um let me update you guys just on life real quick just come come on in y'all come on in let me update y'all okay y'all let me give y'all a few updates just on life before i do i forgot to show y'all this our realtor sent us um a card in the mail uh, because we are coming up on a year that we um, closed on this home so I thought that was really nice so they sent us this nice card and a gift card to a local restaurant so I thought that was really thoughtful um, definitely was not expecting that but um, yes so my, my couch blank is on the couch stuff like that look beyond that don't judge me judge your mom okay I ain't got time this has been busy around here these streets so let me update you guys so I'm a little late on posting because you guys, with the springtime, my son has um, started up his sports again. So the spring baseball season has started. So we've been going to practices and games for that. Um, he also has started back up his swim lessons. He was in, sw he in swim um, three years ago. Um, and so he knows the water safety and knows how to swim and everything like that. But um, we wanted him to kind of perfect some of his strokes and learn some more strokes. So like more of the advanced level of actually like you know the different types of strokes so we just started that again so kind of just going to all these <laughs> practices appointments all this other stuff has been busy not only that my husband and i are about to celebrate our 10 year wedding anniversary um so grateful uh, for that milestone reaching that milestone 
And so we travel often. So I know this video, I don't talk about travel as much, but if you are interested in following our travels, go ahead and subscribe to Finding the Foresters on YouTube. Um, we also have an Instagram as well, but we are avid travelers, like big travelers. Um, we travel near, we travel far. Um, we've been to Greece, we've been to Dubai, we've been to Maldives, we've been to Bali. Um, just to name a few. So we're going on a vacation for our, to celebrate our 10 year anniversary in a few days. So I've been kind of just planning for that because I have to plan for us, pack my stuff, figure things out. I also have to pack for my son because he's going to be with my with, with his grandparents. Um, of course, there's a lot of logistics that you have to handle um, in regular travel, but especially in these COVID times. So you know, I was really kind of just tense about it because you can't really get fully excited until you get your COVID test. Like if you're entering a country that requires a negative COVID test. So, you know, I love that they require that. It keeps everyone safe. But the negative part of it is you can't really get fully excited about your trip until you get your COVID results and you can't take your COVID test until a certain amount of days before. So anyways, finally did the COVID testing this morning. The results for my husband and I came back negative. So I'm so grateful for that. So I can finally like release like that worry. Uh, finally finished packing. I got to get my nails done, my, my pedicure done. Y'all get it. It's the, it's the crazy, busy part of travel. Um, but I like for that to happen so that when I go on travel, I can be relaxed. Another reason I've been so busy is because I like to be really involved, you know, whenever they ask for a volunteer for things at school, at my son's school. And so they're having career week this week um, for the third graders. So I thought it was awesome to do that. So they reached out to parents to see if parents would volunteer so I volunteered so I was like getting that presentation together I work in policy you guys so I'm like I need to find a way to make policy sound interesting to third graders so I think I achieved it they really did um, enjoy the presentation they were really it was really interactive they were asking a lot of great questions you know had them smiling and stuff so that's finally a weight off my shoulders that I've got that done and then just overall kind of like just managing a team at work and having um um, things that you have to just complete at work or just making sure that while you're away on vacation, nothing at work is going to be stalled or waiting for you to sign off on it or someone can't finish their part of something because they're waiting on you. I don't like to leave like that. So I like to make sure everything's set because when I'm on vacation, don't call me. Don't call me. Don't email me. Don't reach out to me. I'm off. Like off, off, <laughs> like off of the off. Anyways, I'm, I'm being goofy. Um, I'm just, it's because I'm in such a good mood now that like little by little things are getting off the checkbox. So I just wanted to update you guys on that. I um, may not be able to post a full vlog next Thursday because I'll be away on travel, but I will kind of post some snapshots of things on Instagram. So follow me over there, Tiffany Tiana Home. We'll probably post more stuff on the Finding the Forces Instagram, like our you know, day-to-day -day itineraries and activities. I'll probably just post like little snippets kind of on Tiffany Tiana home. Um, and then of course, when we get back, we kind of um, share information on hotel review, um, location, on-site location activities, kind of take you into that in-depth travel vlog type of thing on Finding the Foresters on YouTube. So I know that's not everyone's thing. Some people are here just for home, which is why I kind of separate the channels. But if you are interested in travel or trying to, you know, want to look at some of the previous trips that we've taken, or you may be about to take a similar trip, um, then, you know, head over there and check that out. Whew. I'm so happy to see y'all. Like, well, see y'all. Like, I ain't seeing y'all. I'm so happy to finally, you know, somebody reached out to me. I, I love y'all. Y'all reached out to me on Instagram like, When's the next video? <laughs> hey, girl. I'm like, hey, I'm, you know, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm okay. Um, I post a lot more frequent on Instagram. I post here weekly. On it, on there, I might post, you know, daily or every other day, just because it's kind of short form content that you can get up really quickly versus um, editing and uploading and you know, getting the thumbnail, all that stuff. So, still here. Um, the next things I need to, there's a lot happening with the house as well. So y'all know that we're focusing on basement, having new furniture to get all this other stuff. So there's a lot more to come. Stay tuned. If you're not subscribed yet, please do. 
um, share the channel. Um, it really helps to expand the reach. I'm almost at um, my one of my first goals for the channel of a thousand subscribers. There's been a ton of views. I've been at the goal for views on this channel because y'all be coming through with the views. So I'm, I'm almost there for subscribers. I'm considering doing like a 1K giveaway. Um, so more on that to come. I'm almost there. I'm so excited. I feel so blessed um, that people just re re return to just view my content. Like it's such a blessing. When you start this, you kind of start, well, people start for different reasons. When I started this, I started because it was something I was passionate about that made me happy. My day-to-day -day job is not very creative per se. It's very kind of, you know, um, so this kind of is my creative outlet. I really love kind of transforming spaces and then I wanted to share that with you all. And so I have a lot of family friends um, and, you know, you all that are to come family now that, you know, I, I really do appreciate your comments and your interaction with the channel. So. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to wrap this up. I might sneak to home goods today, y'all. I don't need to be at home goods. Cause I, got, I got stuff to do, but. I... <sighs> Anyways, let, let me go. Let me go.